Ito na ang simula Bahagari na kikitano Kitang yung mga matang maniwalang kayo mo Haharapin lalaban walang susuko Magkakarating hanggang dulo Maraming tanong paano ba ito May pagkalinlangan, may pagdududa Kailangan lang tuklasin ano ba Ayan, and we are now live here dito sa Gurong Pinoy. And welcome po sa ating uh, civil service examination review for analogy and logic. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat, sa lahat ng kaguro na nanonood ng ating live discussions and lalong-lalo na po sa mga magte-take ng civil service exam this March 2024. Okay? So for those no na hindi pa po member ng ating exclusive group for review, mag-message na po para makahabol sa ating mga uh, mahahalagang discussions para sa CSE review. Okay, so for those na nanonood ngayon, please comment your location po so that we, we may know kung hanggang saan ba umaabot ang ating discussion for tonight. Okay, good evening kay Ma'am um, uh, kay Ma'am uh, Franz Mesa Tumol. Okay, magandang gabi po. Okay. So this discussion is for our professional level takers no sa so civil service exam okay for sub professional naman po this will be a uh, clerical reasoning okay so inuulit po natin ang discussion po ito ay para sa mga professional level takers ng civil service exam okay good evening din ma'am Almira Nabor okay watching from Bukid nun. Okay, akalain niyo po yun na umaabot pa po tayo hanggang Mindanao. Okay, so good evening din sa ating Facebook users. So especially sa ating mga uh, members, sa ating exclusive group for review, please uh, allow, po natin yung, uh, allow po natin yung permission sa StreamYard so that mag appear po yung inyong mga Facebook names. Okay, so good evening sa ating lahat. Naway handa na naman tayo sa panibagong gabi ng kaalaman. Okay? So um, let's help each other no, to make this discussion a productive one. Okay? Good evening din Sir Benz Pangilayan watching through our uh, YouTube channel. He is watching from Zamboanga, Sibugay. Okay? Magandang gabi po. And good evening din kay Ma'am Hasan Faida Ismael. Fresh na fresh from Jensan. Okay, General Santos City. 
Okay, so while waiting, um, please like and share this live po, no? And of course, don't forget to mention your friends na magta-take din ng civil service exam ngayong March na po yan. Okay, lalong-lalo na po sa mga um, professional level takers natin. Okay, so malay po ninyo, isa sa mga tatalakay natin o uh, karamihan sa mga tatalakay natin ngayong gabi ay um, lalabas sa ating civil service exam. Sayang naman po. Okay, so please share this live, react, and uh, mention your friends. Okay, sa ganung paraan makakatulong po tayo sa kanila sa pamamagitan lamang ng ating free discussion. Okay, so good evening po sa ating lahat. Okay, good evening din kay Sir Melvin Monges from Marinduque. Okay, good evening. Okay, so for those no, ulitin po natin sa mga interest, interested din po na mag-enroll dito sa Gurong Pinoy, don't hesitate to send a, a message sa ating Facebook, Facebook page which is Gurong Pinoy. Mag-message lamang doon para po kayo ay maka-enroll at maka-avail ng ating membership. Okay, wherein you can avail also our um, PDF files, ang ating mock test. Oh, malapit na po ang ating mock test for civil service exam. Okay, don't miss it. Habol na po kayo, mga moms and sirs. Okay, and of, oh, of course, good evening kay Sir Bansil Argel Meneses. Okay, from Sydney, Australia. Okay, good evening, Sir. Okay, so for those no, na hindi pa po uh, nakakakilala sa akin, ako po muna ay magpapakilala sa inyo. Okay, ngayong gabi, ako ang inyong magiging coach. Okay, at ang aking tungkulin ay um, mag-discuss, magtalakay ng mga uh, items, ng mga concepts regarding sa analogy. Okay, so I am your coach. I am Georgina Chanero Tinasas. I graduated cum laude. I am a very proud scholar of Gurong Pinoy. Of course, I am also a licensed professional teacher. Okay, hindi lang po tayo LPT. Um, pinagmamalaki po natin na tayo ay uh, nakakuha ng rating na 90.60. Of course, that is because of the help of Gurong Pinoy. Okay, so para walang pagsisisi sa huli, magpa-member na po. Okay, hindi niyo po uh, pagsisisihan na kayo ay magpa-member dito sa ating review center. Okay. Hi Coach Toto. Good evening Coach Toto, no? Ang ating isa rin sa mga matin matinik na lecturers dito sa Gurong Pinoy. Okay, chill-chill lang si Coach. Okay, so next, bago po nating simulan no, ang ating um, discussion, samahan po ninyo ako sa ating uh, panalan. Okay, so for the Catholics, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, I come to you to ask for your guidance and direction in this study session. I ask that the Holy Spirit fill me with strength and understanding to get through my studies without difficulty or sin. Help me hold my focus and attention. Help me to retain all that I learned. Please make my mind sharp and keep distractions at bay. If any part of my studying is weak or lacking in some way, let it be revealed so that I may correct it. Thank you for this opportunity to learn. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so once again, isang mapagpalang gabi sa ating lahat, sa ang sulo ka man ng mundo, welcome po sa ating um, discussion for civil service exam. Okay, so for those no, na nakatake na ng civil service exam at magtatake pa lamang po, okay, we all know na ito, ito po ay isa sa mga na uh, challenging na uh, seg or na, na subject sa ating civil service exam. So, wala pong mawawala sa inyo if manunood po kayo ng ating discussions for tonight. Bagpus, meron po kayong matututunan at siguradong dadalhin nyo po ito sa araw mismo ng inyong civil service exam. Okay, so good evening kay um, Sir Julio Cesar Tumimbang. Okay, from Team Pavlov. Okay, sa ating mga um, let no, na reviewers, dito sa ating Facebook page, sa ating FB group. This one is for civil service example. Okay? Kung kayo naman po ay may majorship, some of our majorship has also discussion tonight. 
Okay? And sa mga being ed naman po, wala kayong major shift, so pwede po kayong manood ng ating um, discussion for analogy. Okay? Dahil minsan, meron din naman pong lumalabas na ganitong mga items. Specifically po sa English or Filipino na general education. Okay, so malay natin, no, isa sa mga item na tatalakay natin ngayong gabi ay siya palang magpapatap sa inyo. Okay, so stay tuned lang po tayo. And of course, tulungan niyo po ako na maging interactive ang ating review for tonight by uh, commenting or your, for dropping your answers. Okay, so meron din tayo dito si Ma'am Salting and Kilio Justine, isa ng ganap na licensed professional teacher which is also a, uh, who is also a member of Team Skinner. Congratulations po sa ating um, licensed professional teacher. Okay. Okay, so for our schedule, okay, so I have to discuss two uh, parts for tonight supposed to be, pero hinati po natin ito. Okay, for tonight, we will be having analy analytical reasoning. Okay, so and then, the next week, we have um, other topics with um, Coach June Cortez. Okay? And then for January 21 naman po, another analytical reasoning discussion with yours truly. This one is for logic naman po. Logic naman ang focus natin the following week. Okay? Pero sa ngayon, analogy muna tayo. Okay? One to sawang analogy na mga exercises, na mga drills, and mga civil service exam actual items. Okay? So next naman, on January 27, we will be having our clerical reasoning discussions. This one is for our sub-prof na level na magtatake ng CSE. And then on January 28, we will be having our mock test. Okay? Meron po tayong ipopost na PDF file. Na naka-PDF file po siya sa ating exclusive group. Kaya nga po, kapag kayo hindi pa po members, humabo na po kayo. Okay? Malapit na po ang ating mock test. Okay, so meron po tayong doong uploaded na, na answer sheet wherein you can practice shading. Okay, para sa araw mismo ng civil service exam, hindi na po tayo maninibago. Okay, and on February 3 naman po, we will be having our numerical reasoning discussion with Coach Faye. Okay, on February 4, verbal reasoning with Coach Sha. February 10, numerical reasoning. February 11, verbal reasoning. Um, February 17, okay, we will have our other topics under Coach June. February 18, we have verbal re reasoning. February 24, analytical reasoning. And the last discussion that we will have is the clerical reasoning discussion. Okay, so napakabilis lamang po ng mga araw. Hindi po natin namamalayan na uh, maya't maya po ay parang uh, March na po. Okay, so don't waste any second. Okay, kung pwede, maaari lamang na simula na po natin yung ating uh, pagre-review, pag-aaral, muling pagbalik tanaw sa ating mga um, natutunan noon about sa mga ganitong mga concept and subject. Ngayon, ngayon pa lamang po ay gawin na po natin ito. Okay, upang sa huli, wala po tayong pagsisisihan. Okay, so we have here our analogy items. Okay. Ma'am Dagna Hamyahom, pang sub-prof. No po, ma'am. This one is for prof po. Okay? Prof, professional level takers. Yung for sub-prof naman po, yung clerical reasoning. Yun lamang po yung pinagkaiba ng ating uh, prof and sub-prof na levels. Okay? So, uh, meron pa tayong uh, how many, may minutes pa po tayo para mag-mention ng ating friends. Okay? In a while, magsisimula na po tayo ng ating actual discussions. Okay. Okay, good evening sa ating lahat. And before we proceed with the first item for tonight, let us first analyze. Okay? Meron po tayong iba't ibang analogy and logic na mga relationships. Okay? Dahil isa po sa pinaka-effective na technique para matumbok yung tamang sagot sa civil service exam, particularly sa analogy po, is to, uh, to be able to know 
and to analyze yung relationship muna bago yung missing term or missing pair of words. Okay? So, para po, meron na po tayong foundation sa pagpili ng tamang sagot. Okay? It's it's very important na maging aware and familiar po tayo sa iba't ibang relationship na meron dito sa analogy. Okay, you're welcome po, Ma'am Dagna. Okay, we have part to hold. Okay, so for part to hold, okay, for part to hold po, halimbawa, okay, halimbawa, we have New York City. New York City is a part of New York. Okay, is the part of New York. Meanwhile, California naman po is part of United States. So that is one of the examples for um, relationship na part to whole. Okay, sometimes it, it turns into whole to part. Okay, so vice versa. And then we have also cause and effect. Okay, kagaya din po ng part to whole, sometimes vice versa din po ito. Nauna yung effect followed by the cause. And of course, hindi nawawala na mauna po yung cost and then yung effect naman yung sa kabilang side. Okay, so halimbawa, we have here, rain causes flood and then fire causes smoke. Okay, so that is example for cause to effect relationship. Okay, I hope this one is clear. Okay, we have also source to product. Okay, i-study din po ito sa mga hindi nawawala sa ating actual na CSE. Okay, so we have example here. Yung wood, okay, dito nanggagaling yung paper. Okay, paper is made of wood. Same with yung water, okay, this is also from ice, okay, and vice versa. Okay, depende po sa um, naka-indicate uh, naka na first pair of word or sa first pair of uh, given words na may relationship na pwede niyo po siyang i-associate. Okay, next naman we have also object to purpose. Okay, example, we have keyboard is, is used to type and pencil is used for writing. Okay, another relationship, uh, we have characteristic. Okay, halimbawa, we have here yung uh, yung tree or yung or yung puno ay may dahon yung flower naman po is may petal okay and of course we have also the general to specific halimbawa yung general term is car yung specific name niya is honda okay general term is country yung specific name or specific term is canada Okay, that is one. Also of the examples for general to specific. Okay, we have also here the user to tool. Okay, halimbawa, we have here a builder uses a hammer. Okay, so yung tool na ginagamit usually ng builder, builder is yung hammer. And then, yung writer naman is gumagamit ng pet. Okay, another, we have the synonyms. Okay, ito po yung gamit na gamit na sa ating civil service exams. Okay, so halimbawa, pag sinabi natin synonyms, synonyms as synonyms, same meaning. Okay, synonym with the same meaning. So halimbawa, we have here, mad is synonym, synonymous to angry and happy is synonymous to joyful. Okay, so same lang yung meaning niya. And of course, kung merong synonyms, hindi rin po mawawala ang antonyms. Okay, pag sinabi naman nating antonyms, that is opposite. Antonyms, opposite meaning. Synonyms, same meaning. Okay, pag sinabi nating antonyms, magkabali, uh, magkasalungat kung sa Filipino. Okay, we have here, um, antonym of up is down. Antonym of left is right. Okay, I hope I made this one clear. Okay, um, maliban po sa mga ito, meron pa po. Okay, meron pa po tayong mga iba't ibang relationship pa. Okay, which are, madadana, madadaanan po natin ngayong gabi sa ating mga discussions. Okay, so I hope this one is clear now. Let's proceed to the first part of our analogy review tonight. Okay, first we have the single word approach. Okay. Pag sinabi po nating single word approach, isang salita lamang po ang hahanapin natin. Ibig sabihin, may uh, meron na pong tatlong salita na given, one word or one term na lang po yung hahanapin po natin. That is the single word approach. Okay, so directions, choose the number corresponding to the correct answer based on the relationships shown. On your answer sheet, 
shade completely the circle that corresponds to your answers. Okay, handa na ba tayong sumagot sa unang bilang ngayong gabi? Okay, let us have the first item. Okay, so bago po tayo mag-comment ng ating sagot, okay, please indicate the item number dot the number of your choice. Dahil sa civil service example, hindi po letters ang ating choices. Okay? Instead, numbers po. Okay? Sometimes, sumabot ng five na choices. Okay? But this time, uh, apat lamang po ang ating um, nilagay. Okay, so we have here number one. Sun is to nuclear as blank is to extended. Again, sun is to nuclear as blank is to extended. Okay, ang bibilis pumindot ng ating mga uh, commenters. Okay, tingnan po natin. Okay, majority, I can see number three is, okay, napaka-confident ng ating mga commenters. Okay, sa ating Facebook channel, oh, Facebook page, sa ating exclusive group, and sa ating YouTube channel. Okay, ang gagaling naman. Okay, good evening kay Ma'am Hazel Joy Briol. Okay. So, bago po natin sagutin ang item na ito, let us first analyze kung paano ba naging related ang sun at saka yung nuclear. Okay? And of course, tingnan din po natin yung sa kabila, yung extended. Okay. So, we have already uh, come out in the, in the judgment or in the... Um, we, can, we can say that nuclear and extended are types of family. Okay? So, we have here nuclear family, extended family. Okay? Ano nga ba ang pinagkaiba ng nuclear at saka ng extended? Okay? Pag sinabi po natin nuclear, basic. Okay? Basic na basic. Siya yung um, basic na type ng family. It is composed of the father, the mother, and the children. Okay? So, yung son here is Child, uh, is a child or a children ng kanyang mga parents. So, nuclear family. Pero, pag sinabi naman po nating extended family, dito na po pumapasok. Dito na po included yung uh, lolo, lola, tita, tito, mga pamangkin. Okay? So, dito po, ito yung tinatawag nating extended family. Wherein yung nuclear naman po, siya yung basic lang. Yung father, mother, and children. Okay? Ngayon, I guess... Meron na po tayong idea kung alin sa mga ito ang pina katamang sagot. Okay? If we take a look at our choices, okay, yung daughter's family siya pero part siya ng nuclear. So, hindi po siya yung tamang sagot. Yung mother at saka yung father, part din po or members din sila ng nuclear family. Okay? So, ibig pong sabihin, ang pinakatamang sagot po sa item na ito is no other than, okay, Number three, cousin. Okay, so, Almira, ma'am. Okay, now I know. Okay po. Okay, a son is a part of nuclear family. Okay, and a cousin is a part naman po siya na extended family. Okay, I hope this one is clear now. Okay, now let's proceed po sa item number two. Okay, maraming nakakuha ng ating tamang sagot. Okay, well done po. Okay, number two, Pharaoh is to dynasty as blank is to democracy. Again, Pharaoh is to dynasty as blank is to democracy. Okay, ano nga ba ang nawawalang salita sa ating analogy? Okay, or sa ating pairs of words? Okay, I can see one, I can also see three. Okay, let's see, nag-aagaw ang kanilang mga sagot. Okay, is it number one, government? Is it number two, election? Number three, president? Or number four, Canada? Okay, para hindi na po tayong mahirapan, yung una-una po nating i-eliminate sa ating choices is yung Canada. Okay, sobrang layo po siya sa democracy. Okay? Okay, yung mga terms na ito, medyo related pa siya sa democracy. Pero alamin po muna natin kung ano yung relationship ng first pair of words natin. Okay? So pag sinabi po natin Pharaoh, siya yung lead. Siya yung leader. Siya yung pinuturing na pinakamataas sa isang dynasty. Okay? So again, pag sinabi natin 
Pharaoh, siya yung leader, siya yung pinakamataas sa katungkulan sa isang dynasty. Ngayon, hahanapin naman natin po yung may pinakamataas na posisyon sa democracy. Okay, ano ba yung democracy? Okay, democracy po is a type of government wherein the power is on the people for the people. Okay? So that is democracy. Okay? Considering we in the we okay, in the Philippines, here in the Philippines democracy din po tayo, right? Okay, so kung titingnan po natin, kung iisipin po natin, yung leader natin is tinatawag po nating president. Tama po ba? Okay? So ulitin po natin, yung pharaoh, siya yung um may pinakamataas na katungkulan sa isang dynasty. Okay, yung pinagkaiba lamang po is yung pharaoh is um, parang tinuturing na po siyang um, pinakamataas na parang uh, kalagal po siya ng mga divine or yung mga Diyos. Okay, ganyan po yung tingin ng mga kanyang nasasakupan sa isang pharaoh or paraon. Okay, yung sa democracy naman po, yung may pinakamataas na katungkulan sa democracy is yung, is yung presidente. Okay, so again, our answer for this is president. Okay, a pharaoh is the lead of a dynasty or ruling family. And ang president naman po is the head of a democracy. Okay, so um, napakarami no, nang nakakuha ng tamang sagot sa numbers 1 and 2 pa lamang. Okay, tingnan po natin sa susunod na mga items. Again po, ang tamang sagot po dito is the option or the choice number 3. President. Pharaoh is to dynasty as president is to democracy. Okay? Now, let's proceed to item number three. Okay, how about this one? Okay, we have blank is to codes as or mythology is to birds. Again, blank is to codes as or mythology is to birds. Okay, is it number one? Cart cartography. Number two, husbandry. Number three, species. Number four, cryptography. Okay, alin kaya sa mga ito ang tamang sagot? Okay, I can see one and four. Okay, pero iisa lamang yung nakikita ko nagko-comment. Ah, meron din three. Okay, meron din three, may one at saka may four. Okay, let's see kung sino or yung kung ano ang tamang sagot. Okay, before that... Let's take a take a look sa mga uh, given na mga terms. Okay, so here is the codes. Pero kung papansin niyo po yung second pairs of words po natin. Okay, ornithology and birds. Okay, when we were in high school, di ba? Parang kabisado po natin yung lahat ng mga may logi, logi, logi sa ating biology subjects. Okay, so we have logi, di ba? Logi is a Latin word for logos or, or logos is a, stat, a Latin word for study. Okay, logi or logos, that is, that means study. Okay, so kung titingnan po natin, yung ornithology po is the study of birds. Again, ornithology is the study of birds. Okay, so usually pag may logi po sa dulo, Okay, it is study, something na study like biology, study of life. Okay, zoology, study of animals. Okay, that is ornithology, study of birds. Okay, tunay, at least dako ang over. Okay, sige po, tingnan po natin ang ating mga sagot. Okay, so pag sinabi po natin cartography, okay, ito po yung science or, or practice of drawing maps. Okay, this one, karto, karto. Okay, sounds like cartoon. Okay, para kang nagdo-drawing. Okay, but maps po yung ginuguhit usually sa cartography. So, meaning to say, yung cartography is not our correct choice. Okay? Okay, pag sinabi naman po nating husbandry, ito naman po yung cultivation of or uh, production of plants or animals. So, more likely this one is associated with the agriculture so husbandry is the cultivation cultivation of production of plants and or animals okay so hindi rin po ito ang tamang sagot okay so yung species naman po hindi po natin ito pwedeng i-associate sa codes okay dahil sobrang layo po okay dahil kapag sinabi po natin codes yung study po about codes is tinatawag pong cryptography 
Again, cryptography is the study of codes. Okay, as ornithology is the study of birds. Okay, so I hope malinaw po ang um, bilang na ito. Okay, pa-clear po ma'am. Thanks. Yung item ano po. Okay, again, ulitin po natin. Yung codes po, yung tawag sa study of codes is cryptography. Okay? Yung cartography naman po, ito yung something na associated sa drawing maps. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin study of codes, uh, that is cryptography. Pag sinabi natin study of birds, that is ornithology. Okay. So, again, ang tamang sagot po sa item number 3 ay cryptography. Okay, some of you, no, nakuha ang tamang sagot. Okay, sige. Okay, again, cryptography is the study of codes and ornithology is the study of birds. Okay, I hope nakuha ang punto sa bilang na ito. So, very good po sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot. And so, for those naman po, at least meron po tayong natutunan ngayong gabi. Okay, next naman, we have number four. Okay, so po, Okay. Okay, hindi po yung check niyo po ma'am yung quality po ng inyong um ng settings po ng inyong uh, uh, video or ng inyong uh, media sa Facebook po. Okay, malinaw naman po. Okay, hindi naman po blurry ma'am, Johaira Abo. Okay, sige po. Okay, for item number 4, post mortem. Okay, post mortem is to blank as rainbow is to downpour. Again, Post-mortem is to blank, rainbow as rainbow is to downpour. Okay, alin kaya yung tamang sagot sa, uh, sa bilang na ito? Is it number one, address? Number two, forecast? Number three, morning? Or number four, death? Okay, alin kaya sa mga ito ang pinakatamang sagot? Okay, ayan, sunod-sunod na four, quatro, okay? Pero manakikita rin po akong two. Okay, tingnan natin kung sinong tama. Sa, sa bilang na ito. Okay. So, pag sinabi po natin post-mortem, anong ibig sabihin nito? Are you familiar with post-mortem? Okay. So, if you are not familiar, go back. Okay. Go back dito sa second pair of words. Okay. Ano nga ba yung relationship between rainbow and downpour? Okay. So, this is something na um, sequence. Right? Okay, para po siyang Ma'am Zobar, may copy po ba later? Yes po, meron po tayong i-upload po natin ito, yung ating uh, PDF file, i-upload po natin ito sa ating exclusive group for review. Okay? So, we have here rainbow and downpour sequence ng event po siya. Okay? Nauuna yung downpour and then afterwards my rainbow. Okay? So, meaning after and before. Okay, so ganito yung kanilang relationship. Okay, so after and before. So this one is after. Ano ba ang event? Ano bang scenario? Ano bang uh, situation na sinusundan ng post-mortem? Okay, I can see the correct answer right now. Okay, very good po. No? Ang, ang tatalino, no? ang bibilis mag-comment ng ating mga commenters, ang ating mga kaguro. Okay, tingnan po natin. Okay, pag sinabi po nating post-mortem, this one is um, occurring, okay? Or pinaperform po siya, ginagawa po siya after death, okay? So, yun po yung ginagawa sa mga funeral homes. Okay, that is post-mortem. Okay, so ibig pong sabihin, okay, after and before. This one is after. Yung before po niya is death, okay? So, I hope malinaw, post-mortem follows a death. And rainbow follows uh, or occurs after a downpour. Okay, so I hope I made this one clear. Again, ang tamang sagot po sa item number four ay hindi po address, hindi rin po forecast, at lalong hindi po morning. Okay, the correct answer for this is death. Okay, so very good po, Ma'am Jasmine Francia Isi, Ma'am Mea Ehorango Asek. Okay, ang huhusay. And Ma'am Mitch Tagala. Okay, yung gagaling. Okay, now, let's proceed sa item number five. Okay, how about this item? Okay, tingnan na lamang natin po yung susunod na bilang. Okay, duvet is to blank as 
Bray is to head. Again, duvet is to blank as bray is to head. Okay? So, are you familiar with duvet and bray? Okay, tingnan natin. Is it number one, ceiling? Number two, legs? Number three, bed? Or number four, neck? Okay, ang bilis. Okay, parang uh, may lakad tayo, mga ma'ams and sir. Ang bibilis niyo pong mag-comment. Okay, very good po. Okay, meron ako nakikitang two, meron din three. Okay, pero majority three. Okay, karamihan sa atin ay eh, nagko-comment ng three. Okay. Okay, ano bang tinatawag nating duvet? Okay, pag sinabi po nating duvet, this one is also a comforter. Okay, yung comforter po na gamit natin as beddings po, no? Okay, so yung duvet, saan mo ba siya usually nakikita? Saan ba siya nilalagay? Okay, and of course, ito naman po yung bray. Okay, yung bray po is uri po siya ng um, sa pinsa ulo o sombrero. So that is bray. Again, ano ba or paano ba naging related yung bray sa head? Okay, yung bray is sinusuot sa ulo or makikita sa ating ulo, sa ibabaw ng ating ulo. Okay, saan naman makikita ang duvet? Okay. Okay, so very good po. Okay, so pinagkaiba nila, yung duvet po is na makikita natin or nilalagay po natin siya sa ibabaw ng bed. Okay, sa ibabaw po siya ng bed. Samantalang yung beret naman, sinusuot natin siya, nilalagay natin siya sa ibabaw ng ating head. Okay, that is why the correct answer for item number 5 po, mga ma'am sensors, ay... Option number three, bed. Okay? So, a duvet goes on a bed and a beret goes on a head. Okay? Para lang tayong nagputula, no? Nag Nakarayin pa yung ating mga last words. Okay? So, again, duvet is to bed as beret is to head. Okay? The correct answer for this is option number three, bed. Okay? So, I hope this one is malinaw po, no? Okay, very good. Okay, let's proceed to item number six. Okay, more to go pa. Okay, pero marami nang naitatama ang ating mga commenters. Ang bibilis pa naman mag-comment ang mga to. Okay, so we have number six. Fecund is too infertile as blank is too fleet. Again, fecund is too infertile as blank is too fleet. Okay, alin yung tamang sagot? Is it number one, rapid? Number two, slow. Number three, fertilizer. Or number four, number four, damp. Okay, tingnan natin yung yabang ng mga to. Ay, ang bilis. Okay, so we have, oh, ang bilis ni Ma'am Maria Donessa A.G. Number two agad, ang kanyang sagot. Okay, so, ayan, ang bibilis talaga. Okay, so before that, let us first analyze no, yung relationship ng first pair of words natin, okay? Pero para alam po natin yan, let us be familiar first with the word, with the word fecund. Okay, pag sinabi po natin fecund, okay, that, that means you are um, fertile, okay? You are capable of... Um, uh, you are capable of being a uh, pregnant or you are capable of uh, giving offspring. That is fecund. Okay. Wherein, yung kanyang um, counterpart naman po is infertile. Which is, we know na yung dalawang ito ay antonyms. Okay. Again, antonyms po yung relationship ng first pair of words natin. Okay, ma'am, siya, Carlos, newbie, newbie here po. Team Pablo. Okay, this one po is for civil service exam. Pero kung kayo po ay uh, BE Ed, okay, welcome po kayo dito manood. Okay? Malay nyo po, yung mga i-review natin ngayong gabi ay lalabas din sa ating Gen Ed English. Okay. Okay, Ma'am Hazel J. Briol. Okay, number two din ang kanyang sagot. Okay, pag sinabi natin second, that is fertile. And then, opposite niya is infertile. So, that is antonyms. Ngayon naman, para malaman natin kung ano yung nawawalang salita sa second na pair of words natin, ano ba kung sinabi natin flit? Okay, flit. Okay, ano flit? 
Okay, pag sinabi po natin that is rapid, that is mabilis, that is very uh, very fast. Okay, again, ulitin ko po, pag sinabi natin fecund, capable of becoming pregnant and giving birth. That is fertile. Okay, in short, fertile. Okay, pag sinabi po natin flip, these are the synonyms also or other terms for flip. Pag sinabi natin flip, mabilis, fast, hasty, uh, quick, no? rapid, speedy, and swift. Okay, meaning uh, mabilis. So, yung hahanapin po natin sa choices natin is yung opposite ng salitang flip. Yung opposite ng salitang rapid, opposite ng salitang fast. Okay, so meaning our answer for this item, alam na ba? Okay, very good po. Ang tamang sagot po for this is slow. Okay, so fecund is an antonym for infertile. And also, slow is an antonym for fleet. Okay, so I can see, no, ang husay na po ng ating mga commenters. Okay, so mukhang uh, ready-ready nang sumabak, no, sa CSE on March. Okay, tingnan po natin. Okay, for number seven, let's proceed to number seven. Okay, this one, math. Okay, may mga numbers. So, sino mga mga allergic dyan sa numbers? Okay, ito na po siya. Okay, four is to six as blank is to... 16. Okay. Good evening po. LM din po ako. Similar po ma'am yung English terms dyan sa review niyo po. Okay. Thank you po ma'am. Marivic Bandiola. Okay. Watch lang po kayo ng ating discussion. Okay. Makakatulong din po ito dahil madedevelop din po niya yung inyong analytical thinking. Okay. Kung saan kakailanganin din po uh, kakailanganin nyo din po ito when you are taking the uh, let. Okay. So sige po. Okay. I can see twos. Ito ka, parang ah, nagkakasundo. Ah, siguro na dalian ang ating mga members, ang ating mga ah, viewers sa ating items. Okay? Parang ang easy ng item na ito para sa inyo lahat. Okay. But actually, this item is really easy. Okay? But what I'm trying to point out here is kung paano nyo po ah, matutuko yung relationship kapag binigyan po kayo ng numbers. Okay? Dahil minsan, hindi lang po tayo puro words sa civil service exam na analogy. Okay? Minsan, nagbibigay din po sila ng numbers. Okay? Na analogies. Okay. So, 4 is to 6 as blank is to 16. Okay? So, pag numbers po yung binigay sa atin, let us analyze kung paano or kung anong ginawa natin sa uh, first na term, sa first na number at naging, uh, naging ganun sa second na term o sa second na number. Okay? So, if we take a look at it, Yung 4 here, nagdagdag po tayo ng 2. Okay? Nagdagdag tayo ng 2 para makuha yung 6. Okay? Meanwhile, yung 16 po dito, okay, yung opposite ng addition, since nauna po yung blank, so hindi po tayo mag-a-add. Okay? Yung opposite naman ng addition is subtraction. That's why magma-minus po tayo ng 2. Okay? Since babalik tayo sa first na term. Okay, so 16 minus 2, that would be 14. Okay, kaya palang dali, kaya palang gagaling. Okay, parang uh, basic na basic no sa ating mga uh, members, sa ating mga commenters ng item na ito. Okay, so rang musay po. Okay, so again, kapag numbers po ang lumabas sa analogy, okay, analyze po natin kung paano or kung yung, ano yung ginawa sa first number at naging uh, naging ganun yung second na number. Okay? It's for you to find out po. Okay, so again, nag-plus tayo ng 2. Okay, so meaning if we have your 14, pag nag-add tayo ng 2, magiging 16. Okay, so we have 4 plus 2, it would be 6. And 14 plus 2, it would be 16. Okay, very good. Lahat yata, no? Tingnan ko nga yung comments. Okay, lahat. Okay, lahat sila nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay. Sige. Okay. Napakagaling, no? Proceed na po tayo sa item number 8. Sobrang bilis. Sumagot ng mga to. Okay. How about this item? For item number 8, we have warm is too hot as blank is too uh, hilarious. Again, warm is too hot as blank is too hilarious. Okay. So, ano ba yung relationship ng warm at saka ng hot? 
Okay, all we have to do is to analyze. Okay, kung titingnan nyo po yung warm at saka yung hot, almost synonymous naman sila. Pero yung pinagkaiba po is yung degree. Okay, mas mataas ng degree ng hot kumpara sa warm. Okay, so meron po tayong mga halimbawa po dito ng mga uh, words na pwedeng uh, lumabas or possible na lumabas sa uh, relationship ng degree sa ating analogy items or sa ating analogy sa civil service exam. Halimbawa, we have here, okay, cold and freezing. Okay, mas mababa yung cold, mataas naman yung degree ng freezing. Okay, next also we have fired and exhausted. Okay, so yung exhausted dito is mas mataas yung degree compare mo sa tired. Pero kung titingnan mo, same meaning lang naman sila. Okay, pero mas mataas yung degree or mas exage ng kaunti itong nasa itaas na degree or sa itaas na level. Okay, sa Filipino, meron din po tayong halimbawa ng relationship of degree. Halimbawa, we have iyak. Okay, ito yung uh, mababang level or mababang degree and then hagulgol. Okay, so kung mapapansin nyo po, yung nasa itaas na degree ay parang exaggerated na siya. Okay, and then we, al we also have tawa and halakak. O pag sinabi natin tawa, normal na tawa, yung halakak naman sobra-sobra. So depende siya sa degree. Okay, I hope this one is clear. So balik po tayo sa ating question. Okay, warm is too hot. Okay, so ibig sabihin, yung warm yung mababa, mataas na degree is hot. Ano naman yung mababa na degree for hilarious? Okay, before that, pag sinabi po natin uh, humid, in Filipino, that is mahalumignig. Okay, that is humid. Pero pag sinabi natin hilarious, something incredible, something na hindi uh, parang, parang um, amazing, parang ganon, parang hindi ka panipaniwala, ganon. Okay, so hindi po, sobrang layo po ng humid sa hilarious. Okay, yung raucous naman po, pag sinabi natin raucous, Uh, maingay, okay, behaving in a noisy way, okay? So, unpleasantly loud or behaving in a noisy and disorderly way, okay? That is raucous, okay? Of course, we all know na yung summer, ang sobrang layo naman po, no, ng summer sa salitang hilarious. And of course, yung bitter, sobrang layo din naman po siya. Okay, pero pag sinabi natin amusing, pwede, okay? Yung amusing is, lower yung degree compare natin sa hilarious which is higher okay so i hope this one is clear no number eight po ang tamang sagot po for this is amusing okay the correct answer is amusing warm is less intense than hot meanwhile yung amusing naman po is less intense than hilarious okay so mukhang uh, nagigets na po natin no ang technique sa pag-sagot uh, ng ating single word analogy. Okay, so very good po, no? Um, tamang sagot natin is number four, amusing. Okay, now let's proceed to item number nine. Okay, so number nine na po tayo. We have top is to bottom as attic is to blank. Again, top is to bottom as attic is to blank. Is it number one, floor? Number two, ceiling? Number three, basement. Or number uh, number four, uh, we have, number three, we have mezzanine. And number five, we have wall. Okay, you're welcome po, Ma'am Kathleen Bilad. You're welcome po. Okay, alam kayo ang tamang sagot sa mga ito. Okay, ang bilis naman. Okay, parang nagpipindot lang mga to eh. Nagbabasa ba talaga tayo? Ang bilis ah. Okay, so tingnan po natin. Okay, yung top at saka yung bottom, we all know na opposite po sila. Okay? Okay, this one is antonyms. So, yung relationship ng dalawang salitang ito ay antonyms. Magka sa lungat. Okay? Magka sa lungat. Okay, so meaning, yung attic, are you familiar with attic? Uh, yung attic, maririnig mo lang sa mga sosyal na bahay, no? Okay? So, we have here attic. Yung attic kasi nasa itaas siya, di ba? Okay, before that, pag sinabi po nating attic, it is a room, no? At the top of a house, just below the roof. Okay, siya yung pinakamataas na room sa uh, isang bahay. Nasa ilalim po siya mismo ng bubong. Okay, that is the attic. Pag sinabi naman po nating basement, opposite po siya. 
ko yung nasa pinakamataas na room ay yung attic, yung pinakababa naman underground that is basement. Oh, kapag kayo pa may basement sa inyong bahay, ang lang social ni po. Okay, sana all may basement. Okay, next pag sinabi naman nating mezzanine, okay? Parang uh, hindi gaano kilala yon, no, yung term na mezzanine. Ang pag sinabi po nating mezzanine, this is also a low story between two others in a building. Okay, typically uh, napapagitnaan po ito ng ground floor and noong first floor. Okay, that is the mezzanine. Okay, so I hope no, na nakakatcha na po natin yung tamang sagot for this. Okay, we have number nine. Okay, the correct answer for this one is, okay, ulitin ko po ha. Okay, yung pinakamataas na to na part, nandito yung attic. Yung pinakabababang part, which is already an underground, that is the basement. Okay, so meaning to say, kung magkasalungat yung top at saka yung bottom, also, opposite din yung attic at saka yung basement. Hindi po ceiling, okay? Yung ceiling po ay kisame po siya. Okay, so again, ang tamang sagot po for this item is basement. Okay? Kaya palang bibilis ng mga to. Baka may mga basement tong mga to sa bahay eh. Okay, tingnan po natin. Very good po. Okay, so again, ang tamang sagot po for item number 9 is basement. Again, top is an opposite word for bottom as attic is the opposite naman of basement. Okay, and now. Okay, very good. Now, let's proceed to item number 10. Okay, how about this item? Single word analogy pa rin po tayo, mga ma'ams and sirs. Okay, we have myopic is too farsighted as blank is too obscure. Again, myopic is too farsighted as blank is too obscure. Is it number one, benevolent? Number two, famous? Number three, turgid? Number four, wasted? Or number five, peaceful? Again, is it number one, benevolent, number two, famous, number three, turgid, number four, wasted, or number five, peaceful? Okay, tignan po natin yung kanilang mga comments. I can see two and one. Oh, two again. Okay, sabi ni Ma'am Jasmine Francia Easy, two. Oh, meron na kami kita. Three, sabi ni Ma'am Dagna Hamyahong. Uh, Hamya okay, number three, Turgid. Okay, oh my number five, sabi ni Sir Dindo Castaneda. Okay, peaceful. Okay, bago po yan, alamin po natin yung relationship ng myopic at saka nitong farsighted. Okay? Mayroon po tayong tinatawag na myopia and hyperopia. Pamilyar po ba tayo sa mga terms na yon? Okay, these are conditions po sa mata. Okay? So, pag sinabi po nating myopia, myopia, okay, nearsighted ka. Okay? Yung malinaw lang sa'yo, yung mga makikita mo sa malapitan, that is myopia. Opposite naman po ng myopia, meron din naman po condition na tinatawag na hyperopia. Okay? This means half, uh, farsighted ka po. Okay? Ibig sabihin, malinaw sa'yo yung uh, mga uh, salita o yung mga bagay sa malayo, pero hindi ka, gawa, hindi ka gaano makakita ng mga salita o bagay na nasa malapit. Okay? So that is why yung myopia at saka itong hyperopia are antonyms. Again, this one is antonym. So myopic Kung sinabi natin myopic, dapat nearsighted. Pero yung counterpart nito is yung opposite niya, which is farsighted. Or this one is the characteristic of hyperopia. So this one is antonyms. Again, antonyms po yung relationship ng ating first, word, uh, first pair of words. So meaning, yung hahanapin po natin is yung kasalungat din po, yung opposite din po ng obscure. Okay. Okay, but may nakikita akong six. Okay, so we have only five choices. I can see five. I can see, okay, I can see also 
Okay, 5, 6, and 3. Meron ding 3 at saka meron ding 2. Okay, halo-halo na yun, yung ating mga sagot. Okay, pag sinabi po natin obscure, obscure, this is not being discovered yet or uh, it is not known about. Okay, hindi mo uh, hindi mo alam gaano nakikilala uh, na nag-exist ito or hindi po siya famous. Okay, hindi siya famous. So meaning, yung ating sagot must be famous. Again, okay, pag sinabi nating obscure, not discovered, nor known about. So, ibig sabihin, opposite niya is famous. Okay, so I hope this one is clear, no? Okay, ulitin po natin. Yung um, obscure is not famous, hindi kilala, not popular. Okay, pero pag sinabi nating benevolent, this one means kindly or charitable. Mabait. Okay, so we have also turgid. Pag sinabi natin turgid, swollen, namamaga. Okay, and of course, wasted and peaceful, sobrang layo niya po sa um, obscure. Okay, so meaning, we have the correct answer which is famous. Okay, so very good po. Ang tamang sagot po for this item is number two, famous. Okay. So, myopic is an antonym for farsighted. Meanwhile, ang famous naman po is an antonym for obscure. Okay? So, I hope this one is clear. So, now let's proceed sa item number 11. Okay? Tamang sagot ni Ma'am R.A. Dungan. Ganun din po yung sagot ni Ma'am Maris Villegas. Okay? Very good po. Okay, for number 10, we're done with our First part, yung single word analogy. Okay, dito naman po tayo sa madugo na part, no? Medyo um, may kahirapan ng kaunti. Okay, sabi ni Sir La Rafi James Imperial Ligwak. It's okay po, ang mahalaga po, may natutunan. Okay? Yun po yung panghahawakan po natin, no? Every time, every time na magkamali po tayo or hindi po natin agad makuha yung tamang sagot sa review pa lang naman po. Okay? So, we still have the chance na sa actual na exam ay tama na po ang ating sagot. Okay, it's okay. Okay, so for double word approach naman po. So, ang naka-indicate lamang po sa bawat bilang ay one pair of word. And then, hahanapin nyo po yung another pair of word na same yung relationship. Okay, so this is double word approach. Okay, for uh, directions, for each item, complete the analogy by choosing a pair of words from the suggested answers. On your answer sheet, complete or shade completely the circle that corresponds to your answers. Okay, ready na ba tayo sa ating second part ng analogy? Okay, ng analogy na discussion. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so we have here number 11. Okay, reminder po sa mga hindi pa po members ng ating exclusive uh, review group, mapuputol pong ating video maya-maya lamang. Kaya uh, kung kayo po interested na sumali, mag-avail, magpa-member sa Gurong Pinoy, message na po sa ating Facebook page. Okay, para ma-access nyo po, hindi lamang po yung ating full-length video discussions, ma-access nyo din po including our um, exclusive files, ang ating mga PDF files, and of course, ang ating mga mock tests. Okay, so wag na po tayong mag-aksaya no, ng panahon, wag na po tayong um, manginayang. Dahil at the end of the day, para po ito sa atin. Para po ito, uh, makapasa po tayo sa ating exams. Okay, so again, yung hahanapin po natin ay uh, yung pair of words na same. Yung relationship sa given pair of word. Okay, so we have exercise is too strong as blank. Blank is to blank. Okay, so yung hahanapin natin, dalawang pa isang pares ng salita. Okay, is it number one? Perform timid. Number two, guard is to alert. Number three, decide is to shrewd. Number four, drink is to thirsty. Or number five, read is to knowledgeable. Okay. Okay, I can see. Lahat po sila five yung sagot. Ayaw nyo yung one, ayaw nyo yung two, three, four. Final na, sure na. O five, 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 five daw. Sabi ni Ma'am Dagna. Okay, sige. Okay, before that, 
Ano nga ba yung relationship ng exercise sa strong? Okay? Okay, we exercise in order to be strong. Okay? So that's it, no? We exercise in order to be strong. Okay? Can we use it in the pair of words that we have? We perform in, in order to be timid. Okay? Pag sinabi po natin timid, shy. Okay? Mahiyain. Okay? So napaka yeah, layo naman po, no? Kailangan mo mag-perform para maging shy. Okay? Parang wala pong siyang sense. Okay? So hindi po ito yung tamang sagot. Okay? We use also the same na uh, uh, we same the same sentence. Okay? Example, we have we guard in, in order to be alert. Okay, another napaka uh, parang wrong, ang wrong, no? Okay, so we have we guard in order to be alert. Okay, mali din po ang ating option number two. Okay, yes po, this one is also um, cause and effect analogy. Okay, nawala tayo ng saglit. Okay, there's there's something wrong with our internet connection but uh, we're back. Okay, kinabahan tayo ng very light doon. Okay. Okay, so again, okay, gamitin po natin ng relationship na cause and effect or pwede din po siya na um, before and after or pwede din po siya na result. Okay? Okay, yung um, action to result. Okay, pwede din po yun. Okay, so let's use again another. We have, we decide in order to be shrewd. Okay, when we say shrewd, this means um, smart. Okay, smart, matalino. Okay, that is shrewd. So, kailangan ba natin mag-decide para maging matalino? Okay, so of course, this one is very wrong, right? Okay, this one is wrong din po. So, okay, nag-decision na siya. O, oh, po, nag-decision na po siya. O, oh. Okay, again, pag sinabi natin decide, uh, we decide in order to be shrewd, that is also wrong. Okay, and of course, mali din po pag sinabi natin drink, okay, we drink in order to be thirsty, okay, mukhang uh, napakabaliktad, nagkabaliktad naman yata. Okay, pwede din po na uh, we drink in order to be satisfied, pwede din po yun. Okay, pero yung pinangkatamang sagot po sa tanong na ito or sa item na ito is the option number five. Yes po. Ang gagaling naman talaga. Okay, very good. Ma'am Maricel Balacos. Okay. We read in order to be knowledgeable. Okay, so napaka-perfect ng ating pairing pag ganito yung ating piniling sagot. So again, so we have the action and purpose. Okay, na relationship. So, one exercise or we exercise in order para po tayo ay maging malusog, para tayo ay maging malakas. Okay? And then, at the same time, tayo ay nagbabasa para tayo ay maging marunong, tayo ay maging matalino. Okay? Or, or tayo ay maging maalam. Okay, so very good. Uh, mostly, no, sa ating mga commenters ay tama yung sagot. Napakahusay po. Okay, very good. Again, our correct answer for this is option number five. Okay, very good. We exercise in order to be strong as we read in order to be knowledgeable. Okay, very good. Okay, next for item number 12. Okay, we have for item number 12, Swarm is to insect as blank is to blank. Okay, hanapin po natin yung dalawang pair of words. Okay, Mamari Vic Banjola, wala pa, ko, wala pa ko pang pang-enrolled ma'am. Kaya self-review muna ako at half lang po sa online nyo baka sakali. Pero madami naman po akong natutunan. Okay, thank you po no ma'am um, Mary Vic. Okay, malaking bagay din po ito. Okay, so thank you po sa panonood ng ating uh, discussions. Okay, now why meron po kami ma-contribute no, sa inyong pagre-review. Okay, and good luck po. And of course, meron din po tayo, aside from, na mention natin um, last slide, sa previous slide, na merong relationship na um, purpose or action or purpose, of course, we have also the relationship na groups, okay, or collective noun. So we have swarm is to insect. As blank is to blank. Is it number one? Match is to player. Number two, picnic is to forest. Number three, throng is to person. Number four, dog is to puppy. 
Or number five vase is to bloom. Okay. So, kung titignan po natin yung swarm, tawag po to sa grupo ng mga insects. So, this is a collective nouns. Okay, so Sir Ronnie Hachanova Saturninas, how to join po ma'am. Okay, sir, just uh, visit our Facebook page po. Mag-message uh, lang po kayo doon, okay? Um, and uh, our admin will cater your um, inquiries po para makapag-enroll uh, po kayo as soon as possible, okay? So next, we have different types of collective nouns. Okay, for animals, usually yung lumalabas po sa ating CSE or sa ating analogy na part ng ating civil service exam is yung mga sumusunod. Okay, yung grupo ng cattle is tinatawag na herd. Group of birds is flock. Group of oysters is bed. Uh, groups of fishes is school, school of fishes. Group of kittens is litter. A uh, group of ants is army. Okay, army of ants. Group of geese is gaggle. Group of wolves that is pack. Group of bees that is swarm. Okay, insect din yung bees kaya insect swarm. Okay? And then swans we have bevy. Horses team. Okay, so group of horses that is team. So this is or these are for animals. Okay, sa people naman po, meron tayong a side of Morris dancers. Okay, side of Morris dancers. Skirl of pipers. Sleep of candidates. Slouch of models. Okay, so marami pa po yan. Okay, so for those na member po ng ating group, no, i-upload po natin yung PDF file nito right after this slide. Kaya pwede nyo po siyang balikan, pwede nyo po siyang i-download at i-review ng pa ulit-ulit hanggang magsawa po kayo at ma-master nyo po ito. Okay? Ma'am, paano po kapag mag-enroll, ma'am? Mga anong oras po mga class kung sakali? Pang gabi kasi ako pwede. Okay, ma'am, Tavira Daisery, don't worry po. Okay, asynchronous po tayo, no? So, kung kayo po ay may work sa gabi and sa umaga kayo free, don't worry po. Okay, since um, record, recorded, live po tayo, pero at the same time, recorded po lahat ng ito. And pwede nyo po siyang balikan sa ating exclusive group. Okay, anytime na available at convenient po sa inyo. Okay, don't worry. This review center is uh, very suitable po sa inyo. Okay. So again, we also have staff of servants, talent of gamblers, and then uh, we have stock of foresters, okay, and many more. So again, kung kayo ay members, i-upload po natin ito. Kaya don't worry, mababalikan nyo po ito anytime. Okay. Okay, yes po, um, only those na nag-avail po, sila din po yung maka-access ng full, okay, mula simula hanggang dulo, ma-access po nila yung full length na discussions po natin, okay? So now, go back, going back sa ating tanong, yung swarm, ito yung tawag sa grupo ng mga insects. Okay, but before that, match is to player. Okay, yung grupo ba ng player, tinatawag na match? Okay, hindi po, okay? And then, Forest, o yung forester kanina. Okay? Iba din po yung tawag doon. Hindi po picnic. Okay, pero pag sinawa, sinabi po nating throng, this one is the other term for uh, crowd. Madla. Okay, so meaning, yung throng po is tawag sa grupo ng mga tao. Grupo na nagkukumpulang mga tao. That is throng. Okay? Ma'am, paano po magpa-member? As I said po, message lamang po kayo sa ating Facebook page. Okay po? Okay, don't hesitate. Okay, just message us directly. Okay. Okay, very good po, no, ma'am? Okay, I can see, no, kasabi ni Ma'am Cabrera during Lauren. Okay? So, correct po. Yung tamang sagot po natin dito is number three. Okay? So, kung ang swarm, ito yung tawag sa grupo ng mga insects or large number of insects. Yung throng naman po, other terms for crowd, ito naman po yung tawag sa large numbers of persons or madla. Okay, so very good. So, mahusay, no? Marami pa rin ang hakuha ng ating tamang sagot. Okay. So, now let's proceed to the next item. We are now in... Uh, item number 13. Again, the correct answer is 3. Throng is to prison. Okay. Mm 
Okay, for number 13, we have teacher is to faculty. 